What it do, y'all? It's Coffee back at it, man. We got a major update on BG as well as a lot else, man. So let's get right into it. Y'all get right in them comments as well as like the video, sub up all that good ish, man. But BG, if y'all don't recall, man, where that hit roughly a week ago or so, you know, as he's out after doing what he do, like 12 jump offs in the feds. He did a long time, man. And he's just been home trying to get to the bag. Whack 100 out here trying to paint him as a rat. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that. It was a tricky situation. It wasn't your typical, oh, someone just told on me. I don't know. You know, from my square perspective, I didn't see it as no telling. I saw it as someone trying to get on some funny style-ish with him, you know, agreed to um, be the fall guy and didn't live up to their end of the bargain. I don't know. That's another story. But as far as this violation, if y'all recall, the probation officer basically said, yo, you collabed with uh, Gucci. You collabed with, uh, he did a whole project with Gucci Mane. He did a show with Boosie. And he's like, yo, those are convicted felons. You didn't have express consent you know to to do that so that's your in violation of your probation but you didn't get bagged up right then it was like a book and release type deal and he's remained free so you see he's trying to keep his spirits up in the midst of all this as he's posting on some pock type ish only god can judge me me against the world um, I don't know what he's rocking there as well. For those who stay up on designer ish, it looks like it says Eminem on the front of the, the clothing. I'm not sure what that is, but he's just on some Pac vibes, trying to stay upbeat and stay free and stay getting a bag. And uh, he goes to court tomorrow and peep what his lawyer has said in these um, motions he filed and stuff like this. He's saying that that's cap, that they did have permission for him to do this work with Boosie and Gucci and not only that that they got it all the way back when he was still in the halfway house when he first came home so can it be that simple can it just be we did have permission you're saying we didn't that's cap we did what I'm wondering if what happened is that you know um they said hey he's a rapper he's gonna be out here making appearances with other rappers this is business this that and the third and the po was like okay and then later seeing that you know some of these other rappers had a record were convicted of crimes and then said hey fluck them let's lock them back up i don't know it's a tricky situation but the big update as uh, the lawyer has filed all the proper paperwork tomorrow which I'm saying tomorrow, Monday, April 8th. Y'all will probably be hearing this in your time zone on Monday. So in the morning, hours from now, he will appear in court to find out what will be the disposition. You know what I'm saying? If he will remain a free man out here chasing a bag, trying to grind and live his best life, or will he get locked back up? He'll find out tomorrow at that federal courthouse. That's just crazy to me, though, that the attorney's like, we did get permission, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know how the judge is going to see this. Like PO says, you didn't have permission. Lawyer says we did. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. But you see, um, in the midst of it all, BG's trying to make the best of it. He's out uh, posting videos, pulling up to church. And I got to keep urging everyone get right with your God, your creator, your spiritual side, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because everyone has different beliefs. I'm just pointing out it's wild times we're living in and we got to really think about who we are and what kind of life we've lived and if it's been righteous and, you know, it's, it's time to get right, in my opinion. Comment if y'all feel me on that, you know what I'm saying? Like about what's going on in this world at this current juncture. Which CBG posted up, had a wonderful day at church today, as I do every Sunday. They said, when you're on the right track and doing the right thing, the devil be mad and get busier. He's going to keep being mad at me. So I don't know if he's speaking cryptically there about this position that he's in with the probation and everything. You know, I don't know. Comment. Then he also threw up another one saying, it's never been easy being Jeezy. 
but I'm real. So I make it look that way. I always thrive under pressure and fight harder when my back against the wall. I came too far to give up or lay down. The real gonna keep riding with me and my haters gonna keep hating on me. I'm here for it all. Come back, kid. IRNS, I appreciate you. The support is real. I'm just trying to live my life. So BG, you know, just trying to continue and push on. He'll have that uh, court date in the morning. What will be the outcome? I don't know. Stay tuned for updates. Then this is wild, right? Orlando Brown appeared. I know Jumper again recently. Now, I don't know about this dude, man. A lot of people say, yo, Coffee, he was a child actor. You know, the wicked, twisted, sick ish that goes on in Hollywood and how a lot of these youth actors like they're never the same they have a horrible life they're tormented by the things they see and all that but a lot of people have also pointed out that Orlando Brown has said a lot of things that seem very inconsistent and were cap about certain individuals some people say like nah he just um you know he's just wild he he ain't all there he ain't playing with a full deck Um, Some people say he's admitted that some of the things he said were for shock value. Let me know what you think about Orlando Brown. You know what I'm saying? And even if he did say some things that were cap, it doesn't mean that it all was. You know what I mean? But peep this, man. Orlando Brown, as he said this, he spoke about this on No Jumper, I believe, said that the panda is a secret code word amongst PEDOs where they perform. And I can't even read it. Okay, I can't even. I can't even read what this is saying, but he's saying that it leaves panda eyes. You know what I'm saying? That it's some kind of sick, twisted, ritual demonry by these evil, wicked demons against the youth. And the panda eyes is a is a symbol for it or something like that. Like this is disturbing and disgusting. Do y'all believe that it is true? And I remember Um, with some of the stuff about like another content creator that I used to fluck with heavy. I don't know whatever happened to him, man. He seemingly disappeared. You know what I'm saying? He used to do a lot of hip hop content, but he would delve into the secret societies and the entertainment industry and things of that nature as well. And I remember him showing some stuff about kings in England and queens and the, the royalty and high ranking secret service secret society motherfuckers and ish where they would have bruised eyes as well comment if y'all ever seen that if that is like y'all know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying if that indeed could be something tied to this sick ish here or what like is orlando brown speaking the truth or is this cap baby <laughs> no listen listen everybody listen i miss you baby shout out to all my hoes what, what? You two fucking me. Well, you gotta watch the show. No, no. no we got a show called Batty and the Beast out on Urban Flex TV. Right, Big Star, yeah. Have a- <laughs> hey, man, to end it off, did y'all see that loose cannon getting the slip? The ish slapped out of him. I'm, I was trying to say the ish slapped out of him. I almost said the slip ashed out of him. I don't even know, man. You know what I'm saying? But getting slapped up, trying to be slick. Wifey put them paws on him. And SPI says, only a spineless cow uh, bustard gets treated like this. Not coward, my bad. Only a spineless buster gets treated like this on hood. He's a 304. He's calling loose cannon a straight hoe. And then you see Black Bandana 3400. He commented and said on the dead homies. They would have had to cut to a commercial. He ain't going for it, female or not, man. <laughs> like, what do y'all think about that, man? Loose cannon, this guy full of cap full of ish the goofy 
of the blogosphere and spider Lok says yo he's a stray ho what did y'all think about that footage as well as everything else we touched on sub up hit the comments stay tuned for updates and i'm gone peace